Hi, this is Mark News for Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our Plant of the Week podcast brought to you by Bonide Products, family made in America. Visit Bonide.com to find a retailer near you. Each week, Plant Talk Radio's Fred Hauer focuses on a plant that would be a great addition to your landscape. Now for this week's Bonide Products Plant of the Week. And Fred, your plant of the week. Well, the plant of the week, Mark, is one that I know I have mentioned before at some point in time, and perhaps in a different season. One of the reasons, and perhaps the most specific reason that I mention it, is that it's a good Ohio native. It is not a popular tree uh, as trees go, like maple and et cetera. But at the same time, Kentucky coffee tree uh, approached my area of interest about midweek. Uh, they are a big big, big tree in in the long run. In the meantime, as a young tree, media edge, whatever, they have what is called a compound or actually bipinnately compound. And don't worry about that. But it's just that the stem uh, that leaflets grow from are many, but there are very few foliage stems, if you will, petioles. So what it boils down to is in the summertime, this tree billows out with a nice, steady green, uh, a very pleasant soft looking shape and then with defoliation which has been in their case over a month now the tree becomes extremely bold in structure because of these multiple faceted leaves giving the light texture when they fall off we're talking about the stem tip on a maple that might be a 16th or an eighth of an inch wide. In the case of a Kentucky coffee tree, it can be as thick as your thumb. There's just uh, a whole change in how bold they are. Don't put it close to the house. Uh, it's, it's a tree that over a very long period of time, and most will achieve that, it'll get to be three, four, even, even some more feet in diameter. Uh, my <laughs> mentor and I had our pictures taken. Both of us are a little on the short and wide side, and we stood shoulder to shoulder and there was still plenty of tree sticking out on both sides from from its own diameter. But a very, very interesting tree. Tough as nails when you give it good soil, but put it where you want it the first time. It doesn't like to be transplanted and enjoy. And you might have the only one in the neighborhood. Well, you probably will, Mark. Um, I, well, when I was involved in our street tree situation locally, uh, I, let's just say, saw to it that there would be some the, that type of tree on a big lawn strip in our community. And they're now 15, 18 years of age, getting up into car stopping size, which mm-hmm. <laughs> by that meaning, many have been mowed down. But they're, uh, they're a very beautiful, bold tree, uh, pretty and light in the summertime, bold as bold can be in the wintertime and quite enjoyable. Thanks again for listening to our podcast brought to you by Bonide Products at Bonide.com. Plant Talk Radio offers other podcasts as well, including our daily Your Gardening Question podcast and our weekly Plant Talk Radio, all available on iTunes or your preferred podcast player. If you have a plant suggestion for Fred, send him an email, fred at planttalkradio.com.